Uh, <laughs> but if you do get a chance, try and go, because I think it is the new biggest bestseller. Never mind about John Grisham. Never mind any of that stuff. That's what everyone's going to want to get their hands on. Look at that. Knitting with dog hair. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. Well, this suit. <laughs> made from a dead Labrador. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, anyway, listen, I'll spend a little bit of time with you. I can't have too long. Uh, obviously, this time of night, normally, I would be uh, out and about. I was reading about that woman in the papers, and I think it's terrible what they're saying about her, right? They're saying she's an old slapper, she's shag anything. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Oh, she'll get the hump if she sees that. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, I'll finish with her anyway. Uh, here's one of them television programmes that I make. This one was just a little bit I used uh, to use in evidence because it was, uh, I had to prosecute someone under the trade descriptions there. Suddenly, another ice cream van roars up. I had to prosecute this bloke who runs the ice cream van, right? I didn't mind Apollo 16, right? Obviously, it's not a space rocket that he's in. I don't mind that. <laughs> but it says there, super soft. Super soft. Soft, right? Now, if, you, if you're called Mr. Super Soft, then that's how you should act, isn't it? Like, Mr. Soft. <laughs> the driver is the father of the man under arrest. I've, what I've done is I've made him change the name of his company now. It's Apollo 16, Mr. Far Too Hard for a man of them kind of years. <laughs> and